I've done a lot in near between streams to get everything set up and ready for ending E. Um, we're still in the middle of the normal game's content, which changes as soon as I defeat this next boss, which is why I stopped where I did. Um, so we already met Kaine once, fought her once. She doesn't remember anything, so far as I can tell. Um, what I want to know is why the game seems to suddenly be running at normal speed now. Like, this is the speed the game's supposed to have been running at this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you feel like you lost a few pounds from your head after that haircut, huh? <laughs> Shades. Ah, that's right. What the hell are you doing here? We thought you could use a hand. Yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order. Hmm? Yeah, that's Oh, the combat you. feels so what much slower this way. Shades to appear in such force. I don't know. But they're all over the village too. See, I tried to compliment to him and he gets I did kind of walk into that, level. didn't I? Uh, things fix us. Oh, and by the way, I did go ahead and extract the clips. I just stopped reviewing them when the very first one I opened seems to be a spoiler. So, yeah. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creepy ginormous monster. That hand tail thing is disgusting. Alright, now he's gonna slam. Come on and slam. Rot in hell, you fucking Whoops. asshole. Jump too uh, early. Did you just say what I think you said? Language? Tear out your goddamn eyes. Piss him. Oh no, my face. I would say those poor villagers, but they're kind of jerks at this point. I'll take care of the big one. You worry about the rest. <laughs> uh oh. Chips for the rift. What? Oh yes. Oh. Yes. Those yeah, chips are amazing. The friendliest town in the world is it? You disgust me. You disgust us all. Don't you dare call yourself human. Get out! Get out of our village! What I would, but you know, it's kind of under attack She's or something. To help you. Don't defend me. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, the quest, you mean? Yeah. Kine, so stupid. Sorry to keep you. Why are these people saying such horrible things about you? Whatever. It's all true anyway. What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is, we need to take it out first. Blah blah blah. Shoot 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 shoot. Got him. 
Uh, shade ball. Damn it! Quit running already! Kaine, I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. All right, watch yourself. Let's do it. Oh, nice. I like how it brought me here automatically, like I wasn't going to figure it out, but... No, I have not. I have definitely not changed my mind. Everybody is, of course, free to make their own decisions, but Facebook is one of those companies that deserves to die for the seedy crap they do. They're almost as bad as Intel. He's a bit more spry than he looks. It's disgusting. He looks like he's got a neck of wasps. This nuts. ends now, asshole. We should join her. Right. Oh, let's heal. See, when you said sending me some chips, I thought you were referring to those all dressed chips that I love. I haven't had any more since I ran out of that first bag, man, and I love those things. I wasn't sure I was going to get that off in time. Oh, okay. I knew Fix would pick up on that if my Connery was even close to being okay-ish. <laughs> it's me. Grandma. Oh. How you've grown. Kaine, what's wrong? Oh, it gladdens my heart to finally see you again. Did this happen the first time? Grandma? Come, Kaine. Come to your grandma's side. You've been lonely for so, so long. So much pain, so much despair. Why go on living anymore? Kaine? Is that it? Hmm? Are you finished yet? Don't speak to your grandma like... You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to slowly walk over to you. Cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest. And pull I think I... your fucking heart! I think I remember that line. <laughs> No, 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 no. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we're having some problems here. Now. Come on. 
Where am I? Okay. Where are you gonna land, kiddo? Ah, how convenient. Game feels like it's running so slow. The next time I get a chance to save, I might restart it. I think she intends oh. to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer. Uh-oh. That's not your decision. Hmm? You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life. She has meaning and worth. And we're going to save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting them on me. now I'm so tired Kaine, over here don't give up you're stronger than that don't you dare give up now this woman is more trouble than she's worth That's it. Come on. Come on. Um. Someone just needed a nappy nap. Again. There's that dream again. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something. Extremely important. Indeed. When I look at my broken sword, it reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona. Oh, really? That was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. So then, why was I crying? Three years have passed, and I still haven't found the answer to that question. I mean, I get it that it's integral to the game's story, but it's a little weird to obsess about why you randomly cried someday three years ago. <laughs> Not exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Am I going to be Kaine now? Damn it. Guess I'll go kill some shit. Oh. He's got a meal scepter. Okay. 
this is different. No, they very much do not help, Ellie. Okay, so that's whirlwind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's 2B all over again. I'll be curious to see what the saves say. And the area's still gone. Temporarily unusable, huh? Kine. But hey, she's got she's got my level. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna restart the game real quick because the slow combat is driving me freaking crazy. That was an exasperated oh great. I spent half of Nier Automata with everybody claiming I was trying to look up 2B's skirts. Oh, don't you start. You and Doc gave me, no, like, Rocket and Doc gave me no end of grief. So now we'll reload and see if it's faster now. It's always slow on first load. It's supposed to be faster after that. That's more like it. Let's see what the world looks like now. I wonder if Devil and Popola are still in the village. Well, one of them shouldn't be. <laughs> Come here, you annoying little bastards. Shades around lately. Holy crap, Maybe a lot of shades. Yona's village. Oh, it's Yona's village now. I don't like how the charge knocks them away. Like, that's what I'm trying to avoid to begin with. Oh, it's so much slower killing these guys without vice. Yeah, I know. I just hadn't actually thought through, like, what the, what the repercussions would be. You know, in order for you to, you know, not die, you have Get to back. actually fight back or something. Here. I think that's my line, buddy. What's she equipped with? Not tutorials. Uh, skills. <laughs> these names all right I gotta stop knocking them away it's a good it's a good gap closer but whoops sorry dude thanks for the save shades have been on the rise around here lately now go home oh believe me I want to thing is I've got a job to take care of. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. Somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right. And that someone is you? You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. I'll go. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Oh, You're wait. You're welcome. You should take these. I'll wait for you around here. And thanks again. <laughs> I want to face this thing. Yeah. 
Whoops. Got a little greedy. Man, I am not used to her rhythm. Being near this whole freaking time and then suddenly being someone else with a completely different attack pattern is strange. Think you're going. Another storm? Evening, Gree. Oh, they've even changed the loading icon. Cute. Hey, anybody home? <sighs> this place is always creepy. Um. Shit. Indeed. Okay, I don't seem to be getting anything out of checking bodies. What are those things doing here? Wait, did they kill the villagers? Oh! We got new robots, okay. Oh yeah, staying next to exploding robots. Not a, not a smart coming. idea. Ah, solid plan. Sorry, stumbling over a dead villager. Why would robots be coming out of a place like that? And since when could we go in here? Uh, this is ending E. So everything's new. The hell's going on here? What's Excellent a place question. like this doing inside a tree? Welcome to the sea of humanity. Welcome to the cemetery. Ah! And that's how you ask for my help? I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Good evening, Arky. How are you? Who are you? Show yourselves. A lot of robot parts down here. Could I attack it? Creepy it's not attacking me. I'm gonna leave the robot alone. Which horse is this? That would have been a great idea for a while back. I'm just gonna leave the robots alone.
which it's been forgetting. I don't understand a damn thing you're saying. Yeah, this is like, these are almost like Pascal's robots. They're just not waving white flags. They don't have faces. Indiscriminate killer. Not always. Sometimes I have reasons. Hi everybody, how are you? Okay, you're not friendly. And the hole goes deeper. All right. It's giving me like Matrix vibes. Not the tree, but like this room. Okay, that I've done. Well, that was rude. I can rush too. Whoops. Got him. Let's see. Normally, following the advice of two creepy robot twins is not necessarily something I would advocate for. But okay. That doesn't sound good. That's creepy. Are those things me? Thank you. 
Well, this storyline's new. If you wanted me to follow any of this, you're gonna be real fucking disappointed. These other me's are brittle as hell. I ought to be insulted. There's not how many copies you destroy. They will simply disperse the me and reconstruct themselves. Yeah, the question is, what am I supposed to do? God damn, you're annoying. I want to tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash oh. can. <laughs> Kanye's insults are hilarious. Oh, come on, I could have taken them. Little fuckers. A meal? Kaine, are you okay? A meal? You betcha. Anyhow. Hey! It's good to see you safe. Ah, uh, creepy as ever, I see. I sense tremendous power in that magic circle. I think it's acting as an energy source. Yeah, but I can't attack it. If can destroy it, all the other kinase should disappear too. Got it. I'll take care of the magic circle. You focus on kicking some kinase butt. Uh, I mean, the other kinase butts. Not your kinase butt. You, the real... Yeah, I get it, Emil. Just focus. <laughs> Um, who is that? What are those voices? Just a couple of little fucks. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we fought together. This seems familiar. I think there was someone else who used to fight with us. My memory was Afternoon, Dustin. Ow, like ow. Gives me stimulus. Emil, are you done yet? Thank you. I did it. Is that a doorway? Beyond here lies that which was lost. The final home for you. Oh, Yona's letters are about Kaine now. Whoa! What is this place? At least there don't seem to be any bad guys around. Emil, I didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit, but what happened to you back then? And where have you been? And why the hell do you have four arms? Kaine, I... Look, it's gonna take way too long to get into all that now. How about you just get into the Fine. four arms question? I was worried, you know? Aw, kind eh? But look at us now. Team Camille, back together again. Yeah, I guess so. Kaine, I... I feel like I've forgotten something really important. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. 
Are we gonna have to answer the riddles again? I can't really describe it, but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I... It does kind of have the feel of the animus a little bit, doesn't it? Like... That we would go eat something delicious? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah! Huh. Okay. I feel an enormous magical power ahead. Just don't do anything rash. Got it? That's Got my it. job. Same goes for you, Kaine. I don't want to be alone anymore. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to use a salve. Dang it. Someone replaced my salve I just used. Thank you. Is what? this the Shadow Lord's castle? Kaine, I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. This is a very special place. To you and to the world. That is the core frame of this forest, within which a great variety of information is stored. Are we sure we should be attacking this? It might be best to say the world you have lost. In any case, it is sure the answer you have to see. Would you two shit sex please shut up? I think I have to destroy it. get to decide who lives and who dies that voice it's the one from my dreams i've heard oh that my gosh before. these are your memories we made it this far because you were with us Kane. damn it what is this do you see it Oh, really? Where am I, Emil? These are your memories. These are your records. This is your world. Uh, this is Automata's UI. What is this? Sweet memories from deep within. Okay. Whoa. I can't get around Beepy. Hate, rage, self 
No question mark. She's a replicant. So she's basically a human without a soul. Oh boy! Away from me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I kill shades. That's all there is to it. This is the deepest place in your memories. Memories you had sealed away. Ah, it's you again. That's a cool looking entrance though. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You goddamn shit fucking despicable piece of garbage! So it's harder now. Shut your goddamn traps for one goddamn second and let me kill it already. Someone else was there when I first fought this bastard. Fuck. Why can't I remember? Oh, I can't attack that thing in the tail. Stop warping around. And I can't shoot. Holy crap, what is going on? I can't do anything. Down here, you worthless, disguzzling shit rag. Okay, that hurt. Uh. I can't do anything. How's it going, Fish? Just leave us in peace. This just in, Gilly is horrible at dodgeball. Please just shut up. Oh, come on. I can't do anything. This is bad. Dude, this is trippy. <laughs> when Kaine's eyes flutter open, she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After no, a moment, she realizes she's collapsed help, on the ground, Ellie. where sharp stones dig at her flesh like... Whatever. That's not important right now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. 
What happened? She mutters. Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear that she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Hey, one page. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane sl twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air. And of course, there are, there are the villagers current currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the airy. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kaine spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright, while the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma? Is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong, you fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that shade kill her. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead and this is ha- Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kaine flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warm of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. "'What's wrong, girl?' asked the grandmother. "'Are you upset? Do you want to go home?' Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. S "'Sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was at there.' Well, just make sure you keep it attached, her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream, or maybe I'm already dead. I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma is with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Her grandmother says with a cackle. Here now, hold this. She hands Kaine a large sack filled to bursting with all manner of fruits and vegetables. Grandma, this is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more willing to take our money. We'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can start to argue, Kaine charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. Really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I've got this. And before we find out what happens when Kaine goes to pick up the medicine, we'll go ahead and take on the Valk. We're ready for the one in the inward place. Wait, it would be better if I just said Niflheim. <laughs> Valk doesn't arrive with a three. This ain't Domino's Valkyries. You're in Niflheim? places oh that's right time limit no nah, this one doesn't do that I think whoa
Oh, come on. I was returning a parry for crying out loud. Ooh. Ooh. No, bad. That was not good. No, stop that. A soldier till you've been killed at least once. I think that's the first time that Valk has killed me before. Like, I think that that gem that in, that raises my window for being able to return parries is actually hurting me more than it's helping me. <clears throat> She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Hmph! I wonder where you get that from! Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaini watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems an eternity to ensure everything is alright. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. Oh there, says the elderly apothecary as, as Kaine enters the store. Here for Kaylee's medicine, are you? Though few villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he had always shown her kindness when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets about his work, deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practiced hand. Soon a particular smell begins to drift through the store, one which immediately reminds Kaini of her childhood here. Haven't we already heard this story? I remember a story like this. Like he gave her a coloring page or something, didn't he? There you are, this says the apothecary as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. Looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kaylee so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. Yeah, the drawing. Like, I remember, yeah. You saw that? Said Kaine, her eyes narrowing. Said portrait was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons, and to call it rough would be a, an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town made Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the pleased apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. My, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was crap. She knew it was crap. And yet the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could tell you really put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, offered Kaine, who just wanted the entire conversation to be over, much like my chat. She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that the train has likely left the station. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thought, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave. But just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from somewhere back in the shop. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there. You okay? 
When the man does not reply, Kaine moves towards him. She assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop. But the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. Oh, uh, where's my le- What? Panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers the man's leg is gone. Help me, screams the voice in her head. Help me! As Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with his other hand, only to find that it, too, is no longer there. Soon his arms go, then his legs. Then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Good evening, Crackle. He... Uh, it says the voice, if it could even be called that anymore. I can... A moment later... What remains of the pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the su suddenly silent air. As Kaine stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh God, what's happening? My arms! Where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Homes slough off the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo out everywhere, creating an opera fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust, their clothing drifting this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. Ah, oh, Thanos must have snapped. As she stares at the scene, wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma! Kaine breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face. Ugh, gross. Her mouth, her eyes, ash, 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 ash. Buildings and people, all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her childhood home. It was, once, it was once a place filled of precious memories, a place she regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievingly at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Kaine, she's alive! Grandma's alive! With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs, but she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small, blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, she whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kane as she slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. As Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank As the voice drifted away, the last of the pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. Kaine screams, an impossible sad and lonely sound, and begins to pull, trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingling with all the other detritus from the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on! As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live. 
no goal, no anything. So this is why Sorry. I'm... Oh, oh, oh. Suddenly a new voice enters Kaine's world. I say, can you hear me? After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder, clearer. Now then, you wish to get him back, hmm? Him, replied Kaine. Who are you talking about? Oh, for the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a handful. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there is something else as well. A kind of warmth, almost of familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the voice, which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to surge forth. That's right. I had friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding, a blinding radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches for it. Do hurry back now, hussy. What is the matter? Do you still not remember? You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back! Do I get to use him now? Yes! Use my magic to topple the beast. Holy! Know how to use magic, yes? And give us a show, hussy! I don't need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle! <laughs> use my power to knock the creature down with magic. Well done! Now clobber the beast! Let's fuck it up good! Let the next on slot be our last. Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. Have you been in your camps again? Fuck your face. Ah, that's more like it. Ah. Oh. Is extremely. Cram it, book. I'm doing this. I see. Oh, Let's not your resolution waver before mere illusions again, Husky. Don't worry. I'll do what needs to be done. Uh, I knew I was going to hit one of those. Get your butt down here. Do not relent in your assault. Out. Let us finish this.
my mind nobody tells me what to do i swore i would be a sword i swore that i would be your sword do you hear me so i am going to get you back and i don't care what it takes who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that huh i'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me it's my life and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit and get your ass back here now! Please! Want to recover the person you cherish. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to see what this does, but I know I'm supposed to answer yes. Hmm. Don't do this. Ah, it's coming back! Yes! <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Ah, uh, this is so much better than watching the game delete it all. That was excruciating. I leave the rest to you, Tassi. Oh, really? journey he's naked meaningless. our past may have been a mistake but we're not going back even if this world comes to an end because this this is the world with the people we cherish Flower is friggin' massive. Could you imagine if a flower that big actually existed? That's that's the end.
That can't be. I wonder if I chose wrong. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, I was kind of ex like that was cool and all, but I was honestly kind of expecting more. Um like once one of the things i said i saw said it like it was several hours of new content so correct me if i'm wrong but we've been streaming this for like an hour 10 giving room for the intro and the long afk i had helping ari I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely got my money's worth out of this game. I think I played it for a total of like 75 hours. Don't get me started with that Valk, man. I am going to wind up replaying Automata off stream, though. I know. Don't worry, I got you. But I want to see if anything happens after the credits. This is the last time you have to watch them. Jeez. So impatient. You'll live. Right, somehow, Rocket, I think you'll get by. The good news, though, is that I will get to unplug the controller and actually stash, stash it away. Never. Will do. We're in the R's. Shouldn't be too much longer. Well, when we first met Nier, or, uh, Emil and he was in his human form, I thought he might be 9S, particularly because he had his eyes covered. You know, that sound clip that I listened to that sounded like it might have been a spoiler is not something I actually heard in Ending E. 
parting greeting. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, is everybody here? Present and accounted for. You betcha! Sure. All right, then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank, Thank you, you for playing! For play. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey! It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, would ya? Popola! Devola! You're here too? <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel sad? I'm sure chat's glad for it to be done. Eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this up? Alright. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, thank, thank you for playing! playing. That was weird. No. Yeah, that's it.